So what I'm going to show you how to do right now with Tinkercad is design something that you could give to your dad for Father's Day. Now Father's Day is, is still a number of days away. I don't actually know what weekend in June it is, but it's uh, you know, it's at least a couple of weeks away, I think. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not, I don't know for sure. So we're gonna, when we're, when we log in to Tinkercad, we're going to say create new design over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a keychain for dad. Okay. Now you can write whatever you want to, but we have to keep it to not too many letters. So here's what we're going to do. Before we add any letters to it, we have to make the basic shape of a keychain. So to do that, we're going to go to um, our shape generator here, or no, I lie, we're going to go to components, components. geometric yeah. components, and we're going to use a box. So I'm going to pull that in. A box by default is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to stretch it in this direction. Do you guys see that there are these little <laughs> anchor dots everywhere? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pull the anchor dot over here, and I'm going to make it 60 millimeters wide. Here I go. So I pull. And I can see at the bottom, as it stretches, it tells me the size. Now, can you imagine carrying a keychain that's th that's 20 millimeters tall in your pocket? That would be a big keychain, wouldn't it? So we're going to shrink it down in the up-down direction. If I right-click, I can rotate around and look at my object here. And I can tell it's too tall, can't I? See this box here? That one lets us adjust the height. So I'm going to click that one, and I'm going to bring it down. And we're going to make it rather thin. We're going to make it only two millimeters tall. Okay? So now we have the right shape for our keychain. We need to punch a hole through it so we can hang it off our keychain. And um, I'm going to just change something right now. So what I'm going to do, um, I said 60 millimeters. Looking at it, I think it's going to work better as 80 millimeters. Okay, so now I'm going to punch a hole through. And to do that, I'm going to use my cylinder. So what I can do is I can come over here with my cylinder. I'm going to rotate around. My cylinder is too big, so I'm going to adjust that too, and I'm going to adjust it one edge at a time. I'm going to make it not 20 millimeters, but um, let's go 14 by 14. Okay, and then I'm going to move it. It's more or less central. If it's touching the edge, it's going to cause a problem. So I'll show you that in a second. So what I'm going to do right now, it's a solid shape, and I'm going to create it. In, I'm going to make it a hole instead of a solid shape. So I push that, and you can see it sort of goes transparent and casts a shadow on the other solid shape. And what I do, what happens is when I group them, so I can just draw a box around them and group them. Watch what happens. It punches a hole right through. Pretty cool, eh? I'm just going to undo that for a second. Watch what could happen. If I put my my uh, shape too close to the edge, watch what happens. What do you think is going to happen, actually? It's, gonna, it's, it's not, not going to make a it's not going to make a proper hole in the thing. It's going to be like only a half circle. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Punch. Look at that. So it's so close to the edge there. Can you imagine the material there is going to be very thin? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It could break oh, very you easily. Can make your hole smaller. You could make your hole smaller. The thing is, you want it big enough so that you could fit a keychain loop through it, right? Okay, so there we go. So I made a cylinder that's 14 by 14. I've made um, a, a rectangular prism that is 20 by 80 by 2 millimeters. Can you see? Right Absolutely. So look, if I hold on that right there, I can see 20 by 80 by 2. Okay? And then I group them together, so I draw a box around everything, and I say group. So your last step is to write something cool for your dad. Now, our 3D printer can print things out, but this is going to be, it's not going to be a giant shape. So what we need to do is think of something small that we could write. And here's my suggestion. I'm going to go under letters. I'm going to find the letter I. Yeah, I'm going to put I. And then I'm going to go and find under, it might be under symbols. Let me check. Heart, I, a heart. I, heart. Um, you heart. might want to change the color. No, when you when 3D print it, it's not going to do the color. When you 3D print it, it's not going to make the color. It's yeah. all going to be symbols. Now I can make my letters a little smaller too, which I might need to to fit this on. I want to make it all. I, heart, you. No, I wrote, no, no, I wrote, 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 no, I wrote,
And then. So you guys get to decide what you're going to write on your. Yep. Yep. So you guys can you can design it however you want. Now you can see that my letters are falling off the edge a little bit. So what I might want to do is go back here and move them around. You, other thing you might want to do is rotate around because you can see my letter I is taller than my heart. My heart's a little pulled in, so I can actually pull this up a little bit like that so that they're all at the same level. I can move things around. And the other thing I could do if I want to be make it, this might make look cute, it might not. You can kind of tip things, rotate them a little bit if you wanted to. You, that might make look cute or it might just make it look messy, but you can decide. You can even have your your letters and, and things touch. It's all up to you. Okay? So then the very last step, once you've written something, once you've added shapes, you select the whole thing, and then you push group. And then it sticks all together as one shape, and then uh, we go over to our 3D printer in the Fab Lab, and we download that, and we 3D print it. Okay, so we have um, several colors on our 3D printer. I'm just going to stop the video here.